Hey there Virgo, this is Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot and I'm doing a general reading for the third week of February 2021 for the collective sign of Virgo. We're using the Tea Leaf Oracle. This is a fun oracle, tricky to shuffle, but um, we're going to use this in the reading today. We'll also be using the um, Angel Wisdom Tarot and the Ethereal Tarot. And we're going to start with that. We're going to take two of the tea leaves, one for the recent past and one for the near future. We'll see what's going on. We have the fair woman and the tortoise. Let's take a look at what this is telling us. Fair woman. This is dealings or relationship with a woman. Could be somebody with blonde, gray, or white hair. A fair, they're literally talking about how she looks. A fair woman. This also could be somebody that is fair-minded. So be aware, it says fair woman. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So recently you've dealt with somebody, it might be somebody that's fair or wise and somebody or a way of doing things that's a little bit slower than perhaps you want coming up. We're gonna look at the ethereal tarot to see what's your significator and then look to the angel wisdom and see what's going on in the subconscious and the conscious thoughts. Okay. Virgo, seven of wands, getting clear on boundaries is necessary. You have the high ground here, but you're fighting things off. There needs to be clarification. You're able to defend your point. You don't have to be defensive. Okay. All right. Clarity is always what comes to me for that card. It's like a lot going on, but getting clear is necessary. Shuffle these once more. We'll go to the subconscious thoughts first, I think. I guess we won't be using more of that deck. Just happened to knock that right off. We've got um, people moving below us, making a hell of a ruckus. All right. We have victory. Subconscious is victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition or success. Promotions, awards, scholarship. This is a little victory. Others have helped you get there. Be aware and be mindful of them. And celebrate your victory. Even the small ones, celebrate that. Be inspired, moving forward, creating momentum. This is a good time. Don't don't shortchange yourself or underestimate yourself. You've worked hard to get somewhere. This is called release. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situation or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. Oh, crap. This is a growing lesson. When you have release, this is death and transformation. This is new beginnings cycles that end and then start again it's not the world sometimes it's the death card so something has ended but now you're into this new lesson new spiritual growth that's being called from you you have this unicorn here with the laurel wreath you've had the recent victory what that victory looks like is radically different in the conscious and subconscious so how do you want to go about things how do you get clear challenging 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 um Let me take a look. We're going to take a look at the Arcanum Tarot. Okay, so we want to look for a little more clarity about what's going on here. We've got the subconscious here, conscious here. What are the hidden influences, undercurrents that we might not know? We're letting those drive straight through there with the Arcanum Tarot for Virgos. Okay, it looks like there's wanting to be three out. So these two here, and this one here. Page of Wands, this inspirational energy, the desire to move forward, very enthusiastic, wanting to move fast. It might be that the timing and pacing doesn't line up exactly how you want this. It's influencing this, you want this victory. You are ready for this transformation. You're ready, you feel victorious, you feel like perhaps the transformation should have already or has already happened, but there's a little bit more that has to happen. Release has to happen. Oh gosh, especially if you see these buggers. All right, two of swords. Two of swords is blindfolded. You have to make a choice of one of these to move forward. At least open your eyes. You're gonna to have to adjust what you're holding on to. Two of swords, a choice. You have to make a deliberate choice of the mind. Seven of swords. 
Now there's two swords down. You have one, you're armed and ready to go. Rather than a wand, you're having to use thoughts either to protect yourself and take what needs to be taken with you to move forward or to watch out for an um, intruder or something that's taking away from you. So whether this is you or whether this is a thief that's coming to take your stuff, you will know best. Okay? You know what you need to defend. You have wands here. Look at this in conjunction. Okay. All right. We're going to take a look real quickly at the Dreamkeeper's Tarot. And then maybe we'll take another Tough Truth from the Rebel deck. We're going to look at this future coming up. Week to 10 days. For Virgo. Future coming up. Page of Pentacles and the Moon. This is the student card. Page of Pentacles wants to study, wants to learn. You have enthusiasm here and a willingness to learn, a mind to learn, but a little bit of shyness about it. This is a time to really prepare and be focused before you step out. She thinks she's ready. She is missing something, something she forgot in her busy study of something. All right. Not quite as well prepared as she perhaps thought. Then you have the moon. The moon is about limited light. It's about looking at reflections. It's not full illumination of something. It's about confusion when it's this way. It can be about deception, self-deception, and lies. It also can be about fears and not looking at something, avoidance, not stepping forward into it, okay? Something needs to be let go and released so you can move forward. The cycle has its own sense of timing, so trust the divine on this one. Really trust is requiring that, and although you feel like you're ready and you're enthused, Trust the timing. All right. We're going to look at the Rebel Oracle. Kind of some troubled rude truths from the Rebel Oracle deck. So uh, here we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that project, that person, that idea is waiting. Get after that shit. The world has your back. So go ahead and pursue what it is. Be clear about what it is. The world has your back. Get after it. Get doing. It is time to get started. It is also time for patience and making choices, letting go of things of the past, moving on to new ways, new doings, and new opportunities, okay? All right, that's what I've got for you, Virgo. I think we're going to leave it there for today. Come see me again. hope this resonates this again for the general. Um, like, subscribe, tell a friend. Leave me a note. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.